Good morning, Car Fanatics. Uh, another video from 911 Minor Mechanics. Today we're going to be fitting the tandem pump, or should I say replacing the tandem pump, on my C4S uh, 3.8 2006. Uh, I purchased one from Design 911 in Brentwood. They're a great place for uh, all your Porsche bits. Can't recommend them enough, to be honest. Um, but be careful. With certain parts there are several listings for the exactly the same thing uh, for example in my case uh, Piersburg is the OEM fitted part from Porsche uh, Piersburg, Piersburg make it for Porsche now on their listings for example you'll find a Piersburg pump and you'll also find another one which they call a genuine pump now they're both the same but they have vastly different prices so it's worth looking into these things uh, and when i called them they turned around and said well buy the cheaper one you know i don't i call it being misled personally but still be careful what you buy check your part numbers and like i say a lot of these parts uh, the piersburg pump fits the 996 as well as the 997 and i believe earlier than that it's quite a widely used part throughout Porsche ranges on the 911. The pump I've got is here. Um, here we go, uh, just for the record, uh, that's a Piersburg pump and the part number, um, 997 107 stroke one. And this pump looks a little bit like that. Uh, generally it sits on the back of the car uh, like that you see this face here quite often they get extremely corroded and sometimes they adopt little pinholes in the casing and that's where the oil starts leaking out and oh what a nightmare but anyway it's an easy uh, exchange and basically uh, as I've got my exhaust system off the car it's going to be a heck of a lot easier to access uh, I've seen it done with the exhaust in situ but it is very very fiddly so if you're in a position where you you've got your exhaust pipe off and your casing is really quite corroded and i'll show you mine shortly um this is the time unfortunately although it's a nearly 300 pound part it's the time to change it uh, it's unfortunate that they don't just do this cover because it bolts on with two phillips screws uh, if, if you could just change the cover, happy days. But unfortunately, they don't fabricate this part. Make you buy the whole thing. Anyway, that's Porsche for you. We love you. Anyway, without further ado, let's crack on with the uh, changing of the tandem pump. Okay, here we are at the business end of the car. This is the tandem pump. Give you an idea of where it's located. Obviously, it's right on the bottom right hand side, and you can see uh, from mine that it's quite corroded. Uh, it wouldn't be too long, I'm sure, before it actually started uh, to leak oil. It's basically got four bolts um, one here, one here, one tucked up there, which we should be able to get at, and one up here. The other two are the ones that just hold the cover in situ. Um, so without further ado, let's uh, start cracking them off. You've got uh, a pipe, your vacuum pipe is here. Um, I'm not 100% certain how that comes off there. It looks almost machined, but it can't possibly be. But uh, right, let's crack on and uh, remove the pump. Okay, what I've done is I've taken my T30 and I've locked it off in a pair of grips, uh, which is gonna make it a whole lot easier. You need to get turns on it. Um, just be 
careful. It may not go all the way around. And the last thing you want to do is uh, damage the splines on the torque. Feels loose to me. One, two, three, and four. All good. Uh huh. It's well bonded on there. Still, let's get it off. Just going to give it a little tap from behind. Oh, there we go, and there's the oil. Oh, all my mobile one leaking out of there. Okay. Now it does have a drive in there. Something I just want to. Uh, look into is how rigid this is here. This is like a little box joint on the top of the outlet. I'm not going to squeeze it too tightly. I just want to see while the pump's in situ. All right. Because basically this runs, there you go, that runs into a metal pipe. All right, so we'll loosen that. This piece here runs into a metal pipe. That might have an O-ring in there. I don't know, no, maybe not. The O-ring looks like it could be in the collar. So now we can remove the pump, which, you know, it doesn't look terrible inside. It's just unfortunate that uh, it's rotting quite profusely over there. Uh, there's a bit of crap in there as well, look. Okay, so that's it. That's the pump removed. Replacing it is gonna be the same sort of thing, but in reverse.